have you guys ever thought about how many incredible historical figures and leaders just aren't in rise of kingdoms and instead they re-implement cpo for a second time or boudica for a second time or joan of arc for a second time then allow me to introduce land of empires now this is a game that i have showed off on the channel before and today we're jumping back into the world of land of empires because i've seen that they've added some incredibly cool heroes to the game so today we're gonna check them out and we're also gonna compare some of the heroes to their commander counterparts in rise of kingdoms and as you can see here this is julius caesar in land of empires and it's a fully 3d rendered model i mean the cape is flowing the chess piece is golden and shining he looks absolutely incredible fully animated in this game now of course this video is generously sponsored by the creators of land of empires so if at any point throughout this video you see something that you think is really cool just know that the game is absolutely free and there's going to be a link in the description below to give the game a try now if you guys stick around towards the end of the video we're going to be doing all of the recruits that you see i have saved up here in the top right corner and i'm excited to see what we get boys but first on the topic of julius caesar okay i want you guys to be honest with me okay who looks cooler him or him him or grandpa over here now listen i like the design in both games but this is just this is a real warrior this dude is gonna bust down your city wall and set everything on fire this dude looks like he retired 10 years ago but if you thought caesar looked good in this game wait until you see cleopatra oh my god dude she looks so good in this game and she's got a cat she literally has a cat that she brings around with her on the battlefield i mean dude do i really have to say more i mean come on come on really sure this cleopatra looks royal and majestic and all that but this one looks like a dark sorcerer that can blow up an entire army i mean come on boys come on seriously I, the the models in this game look so incredible it's 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 crazy and this is el cid okay el cid's looking way better in this game than he does in rise of kingdoms as well and he's not even a legendary in this game look at him he's purple and he still looks better but this is lancelot and he is a legendary hero in this game and oh my god he literally looks like my man's looking like a more giga chad version of anduin from world of warcraft okay he looks absolutely incredible look at the shining armor and the line on his shoulders with the cape oh my god this is what Lancelot should look like not this dude this is lame look how pathetic that armor is it's horrendous this is what I'm talking about man this dude shows up on the back of a motorcycle this is Hannibal Barca in Land of Empires okay he looks like an actual king man he's got an eye patch look at the, the this is like leopard print okay or cheetah print I, I can't tell the difference look at the golden sword it's shining like a mother and that shield bro oh my god he looks like he single-handedly can conquer all of this safari all on his own this dude looks like he's in the automotive section of your nearest walmart okay and finally the last of the comparisons this is sargon look at the shield on this dude bro look at the ball and chain on this guy this is actually oh my god bro the eyes of the lion are glowing on the shield got the ball and chain ready to crush your skull in this dude looks like a deli worker if we're being honest okay he's overweight that's a warrior right there okay so that's it for the comparisons but let's go over some uh some heroes here that just they should just be in rise of kingdoms i mean if rise of kingdoms is running out of ideas just re-implementing prime commanders why don't they add athena in the game look at this look at this dude we got a cute little owl right there that's adorable and she looks incredible this is like an actual like warrior goddess right here now i know okay athena is like technically actually a goddess in mythology and and, and like rise of kingdoms doesn't really add like gods and stuff like that although they added gilgamesh and i feel like i mean i i, I don't know either way i feel like athena kind of belongs in rise of kingdoms right and look at the shield the medusa on the shield bro come on that's actually cooler than sargon shield that's actually so sick but this dude anubis bro i remember when i first unlocked him this is, i mean he's also an egyptian god right isn't anubis an egyptian god look at the gold the black skull it's got the gold on the front okay now it's possessed by some sort of demon but bro come on tell me anubis would not be sick in our okay and he's got the scale right here to pass judgment on you oh we got we got a video Bro. he looks incredible he looks great there's no reason he shouldn't be in rok liz beth i don't actually know what she's based on in in historical whatever I, i'm not sure but one thing i do know is that she looks uh, uh, 
I'm like, I'm stun locked right now. She is probably the best looking hero in the entire game, bro. Reminds me of Yennefer from The Witcher, but even hotter. And the Ravens, like, bro, she's actually gorgeous. Uh, where's the video for her? I want to see a video for her. She looks so good, man. Spartacus. How do we not have Spartacus in Rise of Kingdoms, bro? How do we not have Spartacus? This dude, the, the design here is simple, but it's effective. Look, you can see the chains are still around his, his arms here, and he's so absolutely shredded. He's so giga chad. He makes Liver King look pathetic. He just ripped the chains right off. He's just like, nope, that's I'm, I'm out of here. I'm donezo. Like actual, just straight up giga chad. And he's iconic too. It's bro. It's literally Spartacus. How, how is he? Come on. How are we re-implementing Scipio a second time? we could we could have spartacus in the game here's this is horus absolutely insane absolutely insane dude the design on these characters is just these have got to be the best looking characters in any city builder i mean you, you have to admit it now one of the other things you'll notice about horus here is that he sort of has this comic book look to him because he's got this thick black stroke around his entire body and this is actually a setting within the game if you turn this on all of the heroes actually look like they're straight out of a comic book which i think looks really really cool it's nice that you can sort of change the visual appeal of these characters just by turning on a switch in the settings i think some people might actually prefer this graphical style it looks really really cool but you can decide for yourself while we're here let's go ahead and summon horus we're actually going to unlock all these uh all these heroes today you and me we're going to do this together okay and i just wanted to double check to see you do get a pop-up bundle when you get these legendary heroes okay and this looks like insane value 16 shards i'm getting it there we go baby we might as well get caesar while we're here we're, we're just going to summon him while we're here and we already talked about lancelot so let's just go ahead and summon lancelot as well i mean dude he actually looks so good i'm not even like he actually looks incredible i love when mobile games look better than full-fledged games like world of warcraft i mean let, let's just be honest okay this is very inspired by the style of the alliance and i love the alliance i am for the alliance okay and this Ugh, so good we also talked about hannibal let's go ahead and summon our boy ah look at that we got two bundles now baby all right i got the lancelot one and we got the barga baby now back to commanders that should be in our okay heracles like how do we not have heracles we have heraclius i don't even know how to say it but dude look at the pillar on this dude he just carries around a lion pillar to just crush people with his testosterone levels are on a million okay meanwhile our okay got goofy looking dudes like this like bro straight fire let's summon him well 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 if it isn't the famous ninja hattori hanzo i'm sorry if i mispronounced that but i actually made a video a while ago on my channel talking about commanders that should be in rise of kingdoms and hanzo was at the top of my list because bro look at this dude look at this dude look at all the shurikens every single spot on his body has a spare shuriken he has a literal demon uh, a wrist guard over here armband he's like a demonic ninja and look at the shuriken on his back bro this is a legendary hero okay this deserves to be an R okay and it's just not and land of vampires realizes that they're like look hanzo is sick he should be in the game so let's go ahead and summon him i just spit on my screen there i got so excited i don't know what quinn is i don't know what he's from he's obviously some sort of reptilian demon lord or demon or, or god or something from some religion i don't know but I do know he looks absolutely sick and we have to summon him because brother now look, okay. This probably wouldn't really work in rise of Kings. I'm going to be honest with you, but even still, okay. Look at the, the green flames coming out of his back. Like what is he? The burning Legion, bro. He looks absolutely incredible. Let's go ahead and summon our boy and scorpion the second. Okay. This is also known as King scorpion. Okay. He was ruler or Pharaoh of upper Egypt, I believe. And look at this dude. How do we not have a dude looking? like this in our okay bro he's got the dual wielding axes absolutely sick the uh, the uh was that the onk right there okay that actually might be the eye of horse right there and look he's got that illuminati logo on the back there looking absolutely sick our okay has ramses of course and he looks kind of regal kind of royal but you know if he met him at the back of a bar this dude is ripping his face off he's a real warrior he's just a real warrior all right now there's a few other legendary heroes here like morgan that i want to go ahead and sub in and just show off to you guys okay of course this would not make any sense in rise of kingdoms as well 
but dude just the design on these on these heroes is absolutely incredible okay all jokes aside all comparisons aside the models here are beautiful works of art they just are I'm gonna go ahead and summon him we're gonna see uh we got a hundred thousand power just from unlocking this dude we've got Charlotte over here okay she looks like a like a hero from Overwatch or something but she she looking thick bro she looking hella thick okay oh my gosh she got the spider on the back there oh my god I'd let her step on me I would let her step on me just for funsies Hellerman what is this literal demon lord bro he looks like he's straight from hell bro wait a minute this looks like it's from soul caliber or something like that man this dude is got hellfire coming out of his right shoulder okay absolutely incredible like he literally just got done slaying hades and he just decided to come chill with us afterwards go ahead and summon him bro another 100k power right there and this is mikhail what is this bro okay he's like a literal like angel knight or something oh okay bro he's uh he is one with the light apparently and he looks uh looks like he's straight out of bastion or something like that but he's looking incredible he's got a halo on his head and everything looks like a real holy warrior like a paladin or something let's go ahead and summon this dude okay now let's get to some recruiting here okay let's use our free recruit real quick we'll see if we get anything cool out of this we got one shard of nubia not that exciting to be honest with you let's go ahead and use our five advanced recruits okay you can see here these are advanced and these are are the epics all right so we have more advanced let's just blow through the advanced ones real quick and we'll see if we get a bunch of shards of things that we care about this dude uh on her I don't actually have him unlocked yet so that's good we we want more of those basically all right we got more purple shards over here we got some mosey we got some Sh sargon over there all right uh here we got I don't know how to pronounce his name right there but he's basically a, a like a viking looking dwarf okay king of the dwarves right there looking pretty sick and what do we get this time we got so we got some spartacus okay let's breeze through these and boom we got nothing on that one bro we got we got booty on that one okay we got scorpion we got some uh we got some spartacus we got some el Cid. i think i got enough el Cid, but you know it's, it's always good i have extras just in case i didn't uh, max them out yet okay got pretty much nothing that useful on that one uh so no no, no big deal all right we got queen of sheba okay i i actually i think i have her but i don't know for sure uh let's keep going here let's let's do a couple more recruits and we got okay we got more sargon we love that i don't think i have sargon unlocked yet so it's good that we're getting shards of him okay and we got uh more on her okay or spartacus let's do another five uh another five recruit and we got nothing there let's pop another one all right we got nothing there again let's keep it going okay we got sargon we got sargon okay we love to see sargon with his cool shield all right uh we got a couple of the duplicates there it looks like i don't think you can get any of the legendary heroes from the regular recruits if you can the odds are really low and i haven't gotten it yet this video so yeah we're getting we're getting nothing here wow a bunch of exp okay now we're doing the epic recruits all right we'll start off with the with the one-off okay we'll just do a, a quick one-off real quick see if we get anything we got an orange badge okay you need these to upgrade the star level of your heroes so that's actually useful let's do our first our first five recruits here of the video five epics oh okay so we got a shard of morgan and we got a shard of heracles i don't know what the drop rate of these is but i feel like that's actually really rare i mean the fact that we got two in a single five i feel like that's pretty good right uh let's see here we got a bunch of purple no golds we're looking for golds here now that we're doing these big boys and we got nothing on that one let's keep it going here and see if we can get any legendary shards we don't okay that's a bummer let's see if we get more see i knew i got lucky on that one with two of them i got two in one five and now i'm not getting any come on don't rip me off bro oh my god dude are we really not gonna get any more legendary shards come on please please Ugh, oh my god okay we can summon sargon so we're gonna go ahead and do that okay we we're, we got our boy all right we love sargon he looks sick and we can summon honor on on her I'm not really sure but bro look at the snake head on this dude's shoulder bro and the snakes on his club he looks absolutely sick this is the only one that doesn't look like absolutely giga chad shredded okay but I, I I think he still looks sick he still looks real good let's go ahead and summon him all right it's been a couple of hours since my last recording and as you can see here we leveled up some of these heroes like crazy okay I went pretty much all in on some of these uh season five heroes but I had to get Morgan okay I had to get Morgan he just looks so cool and the fact that he has his skill has five thunderbolts that hit different enemies around the map and you have a chance to stun them for three seconds I just feel like he, he sounds really good so we're gonna test these heroes out in the campaign let's jump into the road of heroes real quick so we've got Lizbeth in the back row here we have Morgan right in front of her and we also have Mikhail over here I'm actually gonna put Lizbeth behind Mikhail because I think he's more tanky and I just want her to be a little bit more protected and let's go ahead and hit start we'll see how this actually goes so we immediately destroy the front row no no problem at all what I'm really interested to see is the active skills on these on these heroes here okay 
so let's see how this actually goes uh their rage bars are almost completely full already already so Mikael and Morgan just launches that lightning strike you can see the lightning flying around him as well it looks super cool I also can't wait to see Lizbeth's active skill over here uh her rage skill let's see what happens next we have both active skills popping off and okay she sends a storm of like ravens and crows at them and Mikkel over here just has those holy swords just swirling around him let's let's do that again let's let's move these dudes over here and uh let's let's see what happens all right Mikkel's gonna go off first and here you can see look at those swords dude look at those man okay so he just they just fly around him and he's unstoppable basically he's unstoppable all right let's use Morgan and Lizbeth once more and they're instantly dead instantly dead all right let's take a look at Cleopatra we have Hannibal Barca and we also have Julius Caesar let's see how these dudes actually go okay first we're gonna pop Cleopatra's active skill and let's see how this goes okay dude that is sick okay so there's you can see here there's an AoE circle around the enemies and these just purple chains come and strike everything in the center absolutely sick let's see if we can use Caesar skill here and it looks like he just provides a powerful buff for all the allies you saw that blue circle just sort of form around all of the different heroes there damn this dude looking thick okay let's go ahead and give this uh, a go and we're gonna just pop off Barca's skill right away okay dude a literal elephant spawns in and just smashes down on the enemy very cool very cool Cleopatra skill here is obviously the coolest of the three but that elephant on Barco was actually sick anyway guys hopefully you enjoyed taking a look at some of the incredible designs of these heroes here in land of empires sponsors like land of empires help me do what I do here on YouTube and I'm extremely grateful for it so if you want to give the game a try there will be a link in the description below the game is free go ahead and download it and see if you like it because let's be real it it, it looks good guys <laughs> the game looks good while you're down there drop a thumbs up on the video it really helps out the channel a ton it helps get this video out into the YouTube algorithm and consider subscribing and clicking the bell to be notified the next time that I upload a land of empires video and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been Omniarch I will talk to you guys again soon peace